Hi everyone, Adam here. This is for the Slashback Challenge created by the Horror Man, where each week he gives us a slasher to watch with a certain theme. I'll leave a link to the challenge in the description below if you want to see what it's about. And the theme for this week was remakes. And seeing I started with the original House and Sorority Row, I'd take a look at the remake, which was released in 2009 and stars Rumor Willis and runs for 97 minutes. The sorority of Theta Pi decides to play a prank on one of their sister's boyfriend who was caught cheating. And I don't think I'm spoiling it for you when the prank goes wrong and somebody dies. I bet you didn't see that coming. So they decide the best thing to do is throw the body down a well and make a pact that nobody tells anybody what happened. And then Jennifer Love Hewitt, oh wait, wrong movie. So during the graduation party, people who are associated with what happened are getting murdered. And of course, who's doing the killing? Is it the person they killed or is it somebody else? That's a mystery here. So there are similarities between this and the original in that, you know, the murders take place during a graduation party, but it does do some things that are different to make it not an exact carbon copy of the original. And as you expect, most of the characters are pretty much stereotypical slash affair. There's the blonde bitchy girl, the, the sweet smart girl, etc. You know how it is in, in a movie like this. Most of the characters are, are thinly veiled, but like I've said before, we don't really watch a slasher movie for complex characters, really, let's be honest. And this also has Carrie Fisher in it, who actually plays a kind of cool house mother. Usually in a movie like this, they're usually, well, bitches, but she's cool and she's a badass, too. I will say this, though, it's a very slick-looking movie, though. It does look good. One thing I do like is that the killer actually has quite a unique weapon. And I will say this, there is some decent gore scenes in this. But as a whole, it's decidedly average. If I was going to score it, I'd give it about a 5. It has some entertainment value, and the cast are all pretty good, actually. Interesting fact, Mark Roseman, the screenwriter of the original, was an executive producer on this one. Uh, to sum it up in the end, it's just... Okay, I didn't hate it, didn't love it, but... It's not exactly memorable, and the whole revelation of who's doing the killing was kind of... Really? So that's going to sum it up for Slashback Saturday. See you again soon.